Hello and welcome to Upsum Bros and this week we're pairing two of my own passions, beer and photography. To make things even easier, I'm gonna share with you guys my favorite tips on how to take better beer pictures every single time. So I saw a lot of good examples on Instagram, but also some stuff that I wish I was able to uh, maybe give a little bit of knowledge around it so you can achieve much better results while you're posting your favorite brews. Tip number one, clean glassware. So I'm not speaking of proper glassware, I'm basically speaking of a clean glass. Using whatever glass you have in hand, could be a mason jar, a pint glass, your favorite tulip glass. No, not this one, this one. I prefer Tiku glassware. It's one glass that I fell in love with when I first tried it at a couple of breweries. Got my own set and seriously, I really enjoy those glasses, but don't spend a lot of money on glassware. Use the ones you have in hand. But please do make sure they are clean. So yes, a good dishwasher can do the job, but also and washing them is a good way to go. Before serving your beer, do a quick little cold water rinse to your glass to remove any residue that could be left in there. I know this because sometimes I go into a visit with some friends and all that. I'm using glassware that's been used for drinks, bloody scissors or stuff like that. Leave a lot of residues in the glass itself. Creates bubbles outside of the glass and makes it for a very, very shitty uh, picture if you keep the dirty aspect in mind. Tip number two, lighting. Lighting is an essential part of any aspect of photography. Uh, it's something that I still struggle to find the perfect balance. What I do recommend a lot is if you go outside, try to find some shade. Don't go direct into the sunlight. Keep in mind, don't shoot against the sun, shoot with the sun behind you. So you end up with a nice kind of like softer light on it. If you shoot with the sun in front of you, then you won't get enough sunlight or just light in general going towards your beer. You're inside a brewery. Try to go towards a window. If it's still daylight outside, you'll get a nice clean soft light on your beer. If not, you're at night. Try to go closer to a light. If you can't achieve perfect light at a bar situation or inside a brewery, ask a friend. Everyone has a friend who has a cell phone equipped with this, a little light. Use it to get a nice, clean, direct light on your beer. It will create some sort of shallower depth of field and create a nice setting for your beer picture. Tip number three, framing. So when I'm speaking of framing, usually photographers talk about uh, composition. It's one very, very hard aspect of photography. My only recommendation is to open up your grid markers on your camera. So whatever you're using, cell phone or DSLR, get a grid marker. It will give you the lines to frame your shot perfectly. So let's say you have a big bottle, keep the whole bottle in the shot. You have a tiny bottle, you have a big can, you have a tiny can, make sure to frame it properly. Of course, there's different ways to frame it. You can experiment a lot with that, but my key recommendation, if you're starting, aim for center. After that, yes, you can play with it, create some fancy looks. It's all there. Creativity is your own, but start with centering your pictures and you'll end up with better results in the end. Bonus tip. So yes, it's all fun and giggles, sharing pictures on Instagram, sharing your own favorite brews, but please, please, for God's sake, don't ever, ever ask breweries for free beer. The best way to support the industry is to buy your own beer. Don't ask breweries out for free beers. If they like what you do, they'll reach out to you and they'll give you beer. That, that, that's how it works with us and bros. We never reached out to breweries to give us free beer. It's always breweries reaching out. We love your content. Would you like to try some of our beers? And it's always a pleasure to make it happen, but please, Stop doing this. That's it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tips into beer photography. Uh, of course, there's plenty of good examples out there on Instagram. So go out there, share your favorite beer pictures with the world, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs>